Ever feel like confidence is just out of your reach and always feels like you can never get a grasp of it and people just seem undeniably confident? What if I tell you you don't fake it till you make it and you can build real undeniable confidence? Well, stick around today because I have seven powerful steps and how you can build confidence. The first way that I would decide to build some undeniable confidence is understanding your value. Understand like what your strengths are, guys. Everybody has weaknesses and strengths. I even have them myself. Listen, if you know you're good at like public speaking, you know, lean on that strength. And if you know you have some weakness, try to find a way to work on it. When you list your strengths and weaknesses, you know, list the ways that you can improve on them. And listen guys, it's okay to have weaknesses. We all have them. Embrace it the best way you can and understand it and try to improve on it. That way you can become your best version of yourself. The next thing I want you guys to do is to write down some achievable goals. Get a pen and paper, right? Write down your goals. Studies have shown, you know, when you write your goals, you're more likely to achieve them. So set down these goals, write them down in a, in a piece of paper and set realistic goals, guys. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves and set goals so high up at the moon that you know you're never gonna reach. Let's have some realistic expectation, guys. Whether these goals are small or not, make sure they're realistic. Start with small ones. That way you can have small wins along the way. And once you already get those small wins, you can work your way up and build more confidence towards conquering those bigger goals. Also, guys, don't be ashamed to celebrate your wins as well. You know, express some gratitude back to yourself. You want to appreciate the wins you have so you know you did a good job and you can know what it feels like to win. But that doesn't mean just get too cocky and just stop working on yourself. Keep working, have a little celebration and appreciate it for the moment and then keep the grind going. Now, we have to develop a growth mindset. Listen guys, in life we have wins and we have failures. It's okay to fail sometimes, guys. Use them as lessons you can learn along the way. I know I have my fair share of messing up every time I've been in the gym or in life in general. Or let's say you failed that test in school. It's okay, learn from it, do better. Doesn't mean you failed at the class. Even when you fail, guys, there's still lessons that you can learn. It's not a complete failure as long as you learn from it. And speaking of learning, always keep expanding your mind, guys. Keep learning as much as you can every day. Trust me, you don't know it all, guys. No matter how far you are in life, you can always keep learning. The very next thing I want you guys to practice is self-compassion. You know, sometimes we could be a little too harsh on ourselves, and I know I've been there, and I, I know what it feels like, guys. You, you have high expectations for yourself and you know you want better for yourself. But hey, sometimes you don't want to beat yourself up when you don't reach a certain thing the way you want it. It's okay sometimes, guys. Let's say if you were supposed to be in bed by 11 p.m., but then you were in bed by 11.10, so what? You, you're, you're off by 10 minutes. It's okay, guys. Just keep on improving and keep on getting better. Not everything in life has to be perfect. Yes, we do try to reach the best we can, but we're not perfect. We're human beings, guys. We're not machines. Just do the best you can in your own life and try to accomplish the best way you can do it. As long as you give an effort and you truly know you did the best you can for that day, it's okay. You can always win another day. You have a long life, so make use of it and learn from it and do better. That also includes guys to reflect positively on yourself. Don't be too harsh on yourself and don't talk bad on yourself. You don't want to self-sabotage. You know, if you want to give yourself some affirmations, you can, but you have to be your own hype man. Nobody's gonna love you like you do, so make sure you guys are giving yourself enough love. Before you can love someone else, remember guys, you have to love yourself and you have to believe in yourself and nobody's gonna do it like you do. The fifth thing I want you guys to do is to improve your body language. Notice how every great speaker, guys, they have a great posture. They sit upright, sit up tall, and they it just something about it just makes them look powerful, guys. 
what you'll notice too, as you fix your posture and you speak, you will speak in a more powerful tone and you will sound more confident about what you're saying and you won't second guess any of the stuff you're saying. Your mind won't go blank because you're now in a more powerful position. So guys, fix your posture. It will help a lot. It'll help you feel more confident and it'll help you feel more powerful in the right way. Listen, if you have a big presentation to go, notice that you more than likely have to stand up. They have you guys do that so that you can present it in a more stronger way. But with standing tall and having good posture, you wanna maintain eye contact like how I'm doing to you guys too. One way I'm working on this, instead of looking at the viewfinder, which is to my right, your left, or however is watching back on the video, I am practicing more on looking at the camera and talking to you guys as if you were my friends. Because you guys are. I like talking to you guys and I have to build more confidence on that. So yes guys, I'm not perfect. I'm trying to do the best I can at this video talking. So for me, that is looking at the camera and keep on practicing. But guys, you won't get it right the first time. You need repetitions. Just like the gym, just like your workouts, just like your normal job, just like the skill you learn, you know you have to put in the work and you have to keep showing up and showing up and showing up. So guys, the more you practice it, the better you will get at it. All right, number six guys, sometimes you just wanna step out of your comfort zone. Pick something out of the week or out of the day to challenge yourself. If let's say you're the crazy type and you wanna you know, go rock climbing, go ahead bro i'm not doing that but you do seriously want to find a way to challenge yourself each week pick something that you normally don't do and find a way to challenge yourself doing it if that's learning a new skill grow right ahead do something that you haven't done before for me when it comes to these youtube videos with each video i want to try to implement something new yes it is getting out of my comfort zone because I surely don't know what I'm doing. And I know I probably will mess up. If that's me trying a new edit, so be it. I'll do it. Who knows? It will turn out a lot better and I'll just learn a new skill. You guys can do the same thing too with in any field. It doesn't have to be physical and it doesn't have to be like how I'm talking about with videos. Just find a way to challenge yourself and get out of your comfort zone. Even if that means guys talking to a new person and sitting down and having lunch with them you want to network guys right the only way you're gonna get better at networking is meeting new people go right ahead challenge yourself and trust me you'll come back a different person and lastly guys surround yourself with the most positive influence you can studies have shown when you surround yourself with positivity you feel more confident and you're more than willing to keep on completing tasks that you want to keep accomplishing for the day. Notice how when you're stressed out and you're all sad or you heard some bad news, you don't want to do anything for the rest of the day and you just mope around your feelings. Nobody wants to, nobody wants that and nobody wants that around them. Also guys too, I hate to say this, but if you have that one friend or you have that one person in your group that's always negative, I want you guys to try and be away from them. Misery loves company, guys. So you wanna try to be as far away as you can. You, you wanna surround yourself with positive, like-minded individuals because that's what's gonna help you grow. And that's what's gonna seem like things are really achievable. You don't wanna doubt yourself because the first step in having an idea and making it come true is believing that it's possible. That's how dreams are made. It starts with you believing that it's possible. And so guys, these are seven powerful steps for undeniable confidence. If you've been enjoying this video so far, I think you guys will like this video where I talk about getting more done by doing less. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.